I'm Avita Robinson, a world traveler. I'm also the host of the Nomadness Travel Series and the founder of the Nomadness Travel Tribe. The Nomadness Travel Tribe is an online social media group of travelers and expats all around the world. Nomad is in the house. Yeah. In my group, members connect to share advice, photos, stories, do's and don'ts of all the countries that they've been to around the world. And what they don't talk about online, they talk about in person at one of our many international meetups or on our group Nomadness X travel trips that my team plans. We are the new age travel movement. So Nomadness is grabbing people from the States who have never gone international and getting them their first passport stamp. Along the way, they're guided by me and accompanied by the Nomadness tribe on their first ever international trip. Now to get into the tribe, you have to have at least one passport stamp. So at the conclusion of this trip, our newbie is gonna be inducted into the group. First and foremost, Macario is a Brooklynite. Yeah, any any Brooklynite. It's always pleased with her borough. You can't you can't like any other borough if you're from Brooklyn. Really from Brooklyn. Not just born in Brooklyn and you're there for two years and you left. No, I don't you don't count. If you didn't go to, you know, high school here or junior high to high school, some real significant growth and development of your life, you don't count. And we will take away your Brooklyn card. This is really the worst train in the history of life. My name is Macario James, and I'm a uh, Kensington, Brooklyn native. Uh, growing up in Kensington, uh, probably the best place I ever could have dreamed of. Um, it's so diverse here in this neighborhood. Um, so it's like anywhere I go, any schools, um, it's always like, it's prepared me for all types of people, from different religions to different uh, economic backgrounds to you know races. For my ethnicity, the easy way to predominantly, I'm uh, black, African American, and uh, Filipino. Uh, my mother's from the South, uh, North Carolina and Virginia. And my dad's family's from the Philippines, from Manila actually. Um, my ethnicity, heritage, whatever you want to call it, definitely uh, fuels wanting to uh, get out the country. You know, it's in my blood, you know, from immigrants, with the E and the I, both things, you know, to leave countries, to see new countries, to try different uh, things. It's, it's in me, you know, either, you know, voluntarily or involuntarily. He's carefree, tattooed out, and he's this mix of creative and tech genius. He's a really interesting character, not just with the way he looks, but with the way that he is. There's an explorer inside of him, and I'm really interested on in seeing how he takes to the nomadness trip. I really don't know why I haven't left the country. Maybe, uh... I didn't have anyone to go with, and people grew up with never really left the country, would just always stay local or in, in the States. And I didn't have the uh, incentive or initiative really to be like, okay, I'm gonna go by myself somewhere. How do I know about Evie? Um, just what I stalked, I mean, Googled her online and stuff from her site. Uh, she used to travel alone uh, throughout like Asia and stuff like that. I had like a web TV series and decided after school, like, oh, I'm just gonna do this and live my life and have fun and be the broke college grad and just live in another country. So, and it's pretty, pretty cool to me. Pins and needles, maybe, I don't know. It's, you know, any weird stuff, I'm down for things, but. Okay, so do you wanna know where you're going? Of course I wanna know where I'm going. You know, I, I feel like I have a blindfold on, but I can see, you know, it's really weird. So it's like, all right, where am I? But I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're gonna be going to the Dominican Republic. Really? Yes. Which is why I was like, okay, just wear stuff that's kind of like warm, outdoorsy. We have a crazy itinerary coming up, but I'm bringing you on a Nomadness X trip. So you're also gonna be able to meet other members of the tribe that are gonna be out there on the trip. Just pending uh, Nomadness X trip and be, you know, taking me a proverbial cherry of leaving the country, it's like, all right, from now on, I probably should have some people who wanna travel with me or I can, you know, make new friends or whatever it is. So it's a start and we'll see what happens. The building has more of 1,500 years. As you can see, the house is constructed with coral stones with the Spanish design. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> I can get used to this. This spot is like amazing. It's super awesome. I love it. You're gonna have a really, really good time here. 
So this is kind of like our eating area bar. and <laughs> the making of our bar. Right. Um, we have a kitchen, which is cool. So we're gonna be okay. able to like cook and stuff. That's Sweet. like a big thing with the tribe is when we're on Artemis X trips, like we cook and we do a lot of stuff like a family. Uh, El Paterio is uh, pretty dope. It's like old rustic feel, Spanish type stuff like you see in movies and all that. Um, it's like real authentic. You know, I don't know if that's a real good word to use, but it just feels like dope. Of where we are, and these are the way that all the rooms are split up, and uh, so dope. we'll bring you up to the room. We'll make sure that they come bring your bags and get you situated. We are kind of in the city center in the Zona Colonial area, and we are here at El Vietario, which is a really dope, like colonial Spanish rustic. Um, guest house that the Nomadness tribe is completely taking over and we're going to be breaking uh, Macario in and popping his passport cherry. Got candles burning, I see this. <laughs> Don't get no ideas. So, you have your shower, everything is set up, this is your home base. We're here kind of early before everybody else um, in the tribe gets there. There's going to be probably like, um, I want to say like 14 of us okay. that are going to be here for the trip and you'll meet everybody today as they get in. Sweet. So you're good? I'm going to have them go bring your bags up. You stay here, get settled, look around, mingle, and um, I'll right. catch you in a couple minutes. Sweet. All right. Thanks. Bye. Feels like it's going to be like paradise or something like that, like really, really surreal and sort of like a utopia type of thing. I don't know. It just feels, feels good. I'm absolutely ready to see what DR has to offer and this is actually interesting to me because in all the places I've traveled, I've never been here. I kind of kept it a secret from Macario, but I'm on this journey with him and it's going to be amazing to share that experience with the rest of the Nomadish tribe when everybody arrives. We've got to get him situated. We don't want to shell shock, you know, upon arrival. We're somewhere I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it starts with a J. Um, we're about to do uh, white water rafting and mountain biking and horseback riding. I'm doing white water rafting. I've never done that before, so that's going to be very interesting. So we're about to use all types of muscles and who knows intuition and like primal activities to make sure you know I come out alive and not maimed or anything like that. My name is Wilson De Jesus. I'm a full-time rafting guy, adventure guy. Your group was awesome. It's very fun, very outgoing. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have a group like that that works together and it's, it's fun and outgoing. Uh, we just came from uh, whitewater rafting, actually the longest river in the Caribbean. Uh, but it was pretty dope. Jumped off a mountain or a cliff. Um, that was great. Watching people flip over. Yeah, but now we're about to just go do some uh, horseback riding. Uh, I haven't been on a horse since I was really young. So we'll see. You gonna be all right? All right, my horse is rest to go. <laughs> don't follow, don't follow. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, you can't do that. You can't You're gonna freak your horse out. Make sure you don't kick the sides, please. Do not kick the sides of your horse. Yeah, don't Please don't. Oh, <laughs> so if you start trips, I'm gonna be dead. No, seriously, Horseback riding is amazing so far. <laughs> you know, they're like semi ponies, it seems like. It's been fun when they actually like start galloping or trotting. I don't know the difference between the two. Um, I feel like alive. Well, we ended up part way at the, like the, I guess the foot of the, of this mountain trail. It's crazy. This reminds me of this video game called Just Cause Two. Like this whole landscape and stuff we've uh -huh. been seeing and stuff like that. Uh -huh. like, he goes through all types of landscapes, just doing missions and stuff like that. It reminds me of this. Wow. So I'm like, oh, all right. I'm pretty sure if they like, uh, oh yeah, watch out for that. They pretty much mirror, you know, real life stuff. But uh, yeah, someone falls on that. It'll be uh, pretty cool, realistic. You ready for the waterfall? Yeah. Yes, can't wait. I'm I feel like we've been drenched all day yeah, and we finally had a chance again. to like dry off. <laughs> I and now, I'm trying to get it wet again. I'm gonna tell you something. If I see a waterfall, I may lose my mind though. Really? Yeah, my bathing suit top pop. You don't have your like passport on me or anything, right? No, I don't have oh, anything okay. on me. Can't that do that. Left it. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff on me. Cause I wanted to you dry. Do. Yeah, I wanted to dry up as much as possible. You did it on purpose. Wear your swimming trunks. I took them off. That was, I don't want to walk around all wet. Man, you set yourself up. <laughs> oh, you're going to be so upset. Well, if anyone could hold my... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to jump in the waterfall. I'm done with water for today.
They used to actually call me Chimp as a kid. They called me Roach and they called me Chimp because I would climb everything, I would fit through gates and all. I was really, really small when I was a kid. So you're getting real, real super life stuff, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of estrogen <laughs> compared to testosterone running in the tribe, at least on this trip. So this beach right now has been very, very... Finally, something that's a little more, I should say, arousing to the senses, you know? So it's... it's I like it. It feels nice to be at the beach and take it all off, but we can't come to DR and not hit up a baseball game. <laughs> Being at the baseball game is cool, but I feel like Macario's mind is somewhere else. And I get it, because mine is too. We have some service that we have to do in the morning. Okay, so we're on our way to La Rosada, which is a children's orphanage. Now, I didn't say this in the house in front of everybody, but I'm gonna say it to you guys here now. Um, a lot of you guys know the kids have HIV. It's both male and female, and everybody kind of got together and put stuff together. We have been in contacts kind of choppy with them um, over the course of the last like probably six weeks. Um, we've been able to get in contact with people via email but like all the numbers and a lot of the communication for them has been either outdated, their website doesn't have it, whatever what have you. So we're actually winging this. We don't know how this is going to work out. They know that we're coming. They know that we're coming. Um, they spoke to Cali and everything is you know kind of organized but this is why we needed to make it a very small group. We couldn't have all, you know, 13 of us roll up in there like that. So we have stuff, no matter what, they're gonna be able to take those things home. So I just want everybody to be on the same page when it comes to knowing that like, we're gonna try to stay and interact with the kids and do as much as we can. Danielle's gonna be our resident translator. <laughs> you know, to get them as comfortable as possible and it's really about just kind of spending time with the kids. Um, but again, we don't know how this is gonna, how this is gonna work out. All the goodies for the kids, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You got the essentials, I got the entertainment. Right, yeah, you got the fun stuff. Ooh, this is mine, thanks. I'm keeping this. Being in uh, La Casa Rosada, um, the first thing was like, you could tell it was like, a, uh, maybe like an oasis in like a crazy desert of like where we were. Um, walking in there, you can see it's like a sanctuary for the children and stuff like that. Definitely a nice place compared to, I guess, everything that's surrounding them. La Casa Rosada is kind of an oxymoron for me. Um, being here is painful to see what the kids are going through and to be in a room with babies that have this disease and that it wasn't their fault. It's crazy. It's just, it, it's painful because you don't want to leave and you want to keep that conversation going and you want to keep um, the relationship going with the kids. So in that regard, it's painful, but on the other side, it's beautiful. It's like the best playground for the kids. It's a big compound that they have. Um, you can tell that they're loved. And to me, that was the most comforting thing. I don't feel like I'm walking away from a place where I want to gather all the children and bring them with me because I don't feel that they're safe. I was thinking as I was holding her and looking at her that at one point in time, that was me. Yeah. You know, my parents went to Catholic Charities and helped me and decided that they wanted to take me home. And so I, of course, am sitting there thinking, you know, uh, I know, I, you know, I, I don't have the capability to, but I just, Right then, that somebody will be able to. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing with Maiden Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take my shirt off. I'm gonna play. I want to play barefoot. 
I gotta show this little light of mine. Gotta show this little flow, gotta let it shine. Gotta up it I love seeing men bond with each other. And one of the biggest things, you know, that kind of doesn't matter what language you speak or where you are, sports is always one of those male oriented, you know, type of things. And so it was awesome for me to see Macario and Jason's face light up when they saw the young boys there in Santo Domingo. It's those things that are like, I don't know, they're kind of like the intangibles, like no matter where you go, like watching you guys play basketball with kids and just fitting right in, speaking through something other than language. Yeah, it's like the physical so. things that you can always do. You know a sport, you know, you get the board, it's the same type of board, it's yeah. made the same way. You still have to learn the same physical things. You're not going to talk in English or Spanish or French or cricket or wherever it is. Yeah. But if I see you do a front side nose grind, you're going to be like, oh shoot, I did a whatever they say it in that language. Yeah. Push you off. You're not pushing it off. Yeah, I'm not after you. I don't make people work if they know what I'm saying. We're approaching our last night, everybody's starting to prep and cook, and it's our last dinner together as a group. It's getting emotional, but it's been an amazing, amazing trip. So, it's our last night. Aww. In recap of everything, it really has just been an amazing, you know, last couple days, and it is bittersweet, you know, but we still have tonight, and a lot of people aren't going to be getting any sleep. And we have mad games, kids! Precursor to that, one of the uh, traditions that we have is that anybody who goes on a Nomadness X trip gets a black card. Yeah! So, oh, yeah. For those of you who do not have a black card, please raise your hand. Oh, yeah. It's about that time. We gotta get Macario inducted into the Nomadness tribe. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> we would like to welcome our newest member, Macario, who is gonna get a black card tonight for coming on a trip, a white card for becoming a member, but also a red card because this dude had the balls to jump off of a cliff on his first trip. It's my last day in Santo Domingo, and everyone has left. And I'm honestly very actually, I'm sad. You just form that bond, that, that, that unconscious bond, that just level of energy I guess people have. And, you know, that connects us, makes us human, I guess. Um, but yeah, it, it's bittersweet, you know. Go back to the States, paradise is over. Now that I've gotten my first passport stamp, all I can think of, what's next? Yeah, I, I, need, I need more. It's an addiction. It feels like tattoos right now. When I got my first tattoo, I wound up getting 11 the first year. So maybe I can see if I can get 11 passport stamps in the first year.